We are on MSC and we are at their private island, Ocean K. So excited. And that is what's next. So last time I was here, I got to explore some of the island, but I had missed some places. So we're gonna hit them all today, show it to you. And unlike last time, I'm gonna actually look at the map. So of course we're getting off of the Welcome Center. We're gonna head all the way down this side of the island. Behind that tower back there is the information desk. And then you slide right up here to the excursion deck. I'll be honest, the island's not super big, but it's enough. So there's the visitor center. And then this is some of your beach stuff and your little shop. Three seconds of coconuts. This is the management office security. So if you're looking for somewhere to rent jet skis or do little excursions, this is where you're going to come down to. They got a ton of jet skis, but you might want to rent them early because they kind of sell out fast. Somewhere around $150 per hour. And then apparently the people on the back of the ship are feeding the seagulls because holy crap, they're attacking. Now, from what I was told is those are apartments and stuff like that for the workers that stay on the island. More shops over here where you can buy little nicky knackies and fun stuff. And no matter where you're at on this island, you can almost always see the lighthouse. Here's restroom number one, the Jerry Springer bar. Look, Chelsea, there's ice cream. Yeah. The smiling fishy part of all the islands I have Damn. been to. If you want to relax and just take a day off. That's this, what we're going to do. This right? might be the best one. Yeah, this yeah. is going to be an easy day. Now this is the big seating food area. So if you don't want to go sit down at the big dinner restaurant or the big buffet thingy thing, you got these little snack shops. You can run up to grab a snack. So I've only ever been to one private island and that was Norwegian's Great Stirp Cave. So we'll see how this compares. Let's see if MSC's up to the task. Oh, challenge accepted. See, this is one of those moments. Just watch this. So we're heading towards the yacht club part of the island. So heading this way on this island goes to the tip and then that's the Yacht Club Ocean House, members only. We not that fancy. I know. There's the boat. But the good thing is, is once you make this 12 minute walk maybe, you got more snack shops, more bars. You never have to go back to the other side of the island till you're ready to leave. Now this side of the island is open water and there is no lifeguards on duty to so swim at your own risk. So last night we were in the casino and our cruise director came on and said that they had spotted two people in the water and had to call the Coast Guard and we just hung out by them until the Coast Guard got there. That's never happened to me before. How'd they get there? What, what happened? I didn't like it though. I mean, what happened? I'm trying to figure out what she didn't like about it. I think it's because she wants to know the rest of the story and it's killing her that she didn't find out the rest of the story yet. Did so, they jump from the Virgin Voyage that was like across Right next from us? to us. I'm glad they got saved, and, but where the heck did they come from? But the Coasties saved them, so that was cool. Yeah, but like you can't just give us that and not tell us the rest I want of the story. I want to interview the guys that were saved. Somebody yesterday got saved by the Coast Guard and I don't know anything else about it. That bothers me. I'd say we make up our own story. The guy's name was Gilligan. And the professor. Yeah, and it didn't work out. So they drowned the women. They used them as doors for a get back from Jack. Yeah, another note to self. This place is a, a reserve but you cannot take anything off this island. Last time I was here, I was walking down and there was this little tiny shell about that big. And I threw it in my bag and I forgot all about it. Got back to the boat, checking in and the guy's like, do you have a shell? And I'm like, what? Wait, uh, actually, I think I do. And I pulled out this little tiny shell and he was like, yeah, you can't do that. Kind of got yelled at, but they just put it in a bucket and then they come back and throw it back on the beach. So officially, this is the edge of the island. But the views are outstanding. Oh my God, we could have the whole place to ourselves, Jeffrey. So if you want a quiet spot, this is gonna be it. There are beach chairs and all this stuff on this end too. Get you away from all the crowds and kids and crazy people. Unless you wanna be a part of that because you're one of them crazy people. And then you go back to the other side. The one thing I noticed about this island is that nothing is hectic. Even in the crowded sections, it's still kind of chill. You can find a spot. Also, if you didn't know about MSC, they do overnight stays here. And also there's a wedding pavilion and all kind of other stuff on this island, just in case you wanted to pull something crazy like that off. And I'll be honest, if you think this has been pretty so far, I still don't think we've hit the best spots yet because the other side is even better. Watch the other video to find out what it's like over there. And on a vacation, get your first drink of the day. Chelsea found a palm tree and I got a drink. 
Are you going to be moving those chairs as the uh, shade moves? I'm doing it for you. <laughs> Got us our own palm tree, a little bit of shade. Is it a slim shady beach? And now that we found a parking spot for all the stuff, and tomorrow is a day at sea, so we will try to find everything there is to do on MSC Seascape tomorrow. Check out that video coming soon. But when you find yourself on Ocean K with a bar behind you and a ship right there, it's probably one of the most beautiful views I have ever seen. But this is the one private island so far that I have found that makes me want to do nothing. So we did take some time to hang out at the lagoon for about an hour. Then we made our way over to the lighthouse and the bar on the point. Because the bar at the point is just the best view on this whole damn island in my humble opinion. It's just where you go to relax and not, not give a shit. Right. You were <laughs> right. sitting out on that platform thing. A little girl came up to me and said hi and I'm like, mm, not today. <laughs> we are two different human beings. We are trying to negotiate this whole situation. I'm like, you have to say this! And she's like, I have to sit my butt down. But look at this. Oh, wow. Good luck to the person who thinks they're taking these with them. So we did find us a palm tree. So look, guys, 30 bucks on Amazon. Amazon. The only thing you need to know about these stupid things is it does have a ball in the top. You kind of have to blow out first and then you can start breathing in. But how can you not want to jump in this water? <laughs> hey, you're still on a beach. You don't need that. There's the MSC Seascape. Born to wander. I hear the call a thousand miles away. And it's keeping me, keeping me awake. The restless blood is running through my veins. Every day I hear the distant call The more I wait, the more I start to fall I guess I don't belong here after all Check out the shop, see what's in there. And I will tell you that MSC does have a lot of different languages. They uh, announced all the announcements in four languages. Still not sure which ones they are. I think it's Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, and English. If you walk around, you're gonna hear people speaking all kinds of languages, way more than Royal or NCL. And Chester, that's a big boat, Jeff. How do you get the ride on that thing? It's the window cleaner. You wouldn't go, you wouldn't get in that? I might ride it, I wouldn't wash the windows. <laughs> Washing the windows while you're sailing. <laughs>